Hi friends, good day. Today, let us try to understand about derivative, mode of derivatives, types of derivatives, advantages and disadvantages of derivatives through this video. According to Wayne Heisinga, some people dream of success while other people get up every morning and make it happen. Before we go in, please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. What are derivatives? Derivative A derivative is an instrument whose value is derived from the value of one or more underlying assets. The commonly used assets are stocks, bonds, currencies, market indices, commodities like gold, silver, oil, natural gas, electricity, wheat, sugar, coffee, cotton, etc. Four most common examples of derivative instruments are forwards, futures, options and swaps. The value of the underlying assets keeps changing according to market conditions. The basic principle which is behind entering into derivative contracts is to earn profits by speculating on the value of the underlying asset in the future. Most derivatives are not traded on exchanges and are used by institutions to hedge risk or speculate on price changes in the underlying asset. Some use them as a risk transfer vehicle as well. Mode of Derivatives Number 1. OTC that is over the counter. Contracts that are traded directly between two parties without going through an exchange or other intermediary. Number 2. ETD exchange traded. Standardized contracts such as futures and options that are traded or transacted on an organized futures exchange. They require payment of an initial deposit or margin settled through a clearing house. Types of Derivatives Number 1. Futures Futures are standardized contracts which allows the holder to buy or sell the asset at an agreed price at the specific date. The parties to the futures contract are under an obligation to perform the contract. These contracts are traded on the stock exchange. Number 2. Forwards Forwards are like futures contracts wherein the holder is under an obligation to perform the contract. The forwards are more flexible contracts because the parties can customize the underlying commodity as well as the quantity of the commodity and the date of transaction. These are available over the counter and are not market to market. Forwards are unstandardized and are not traded on the stock exchange. Number 3 Options Options gives the buyer of the contracts the right but not the obligation to purchase or sell the underlying asset at a predetermined price during a certain period of time. The buyer is not under any obligation to exercise the option. The option seller is known as the option writer. The predetermined price is known as the strike price. Based on the option type, that is, if it is American options, one can exercise them at any time before the expiry of the option period. But if it is European options, then they can be exercised only on the date of the expiration date. Number 4. Swaps Swaps are derivative contracts where two parties exchange their financial obligations. It allows the exchange of cash flows between the two parties. The swaps usually involve the exchange of a fixed cash flow for a floating cash flow. The cash flows are based on a national principal amount agreed between two parties without exchange of principal. The amount of cash flow is based on the rate of interest. One cash flow is generally fixed and the other change on the basis of a benchmark interest rate. Interest rate swaps are the most commonly used category. Swaps are over-the-counter contracts between business or financial institutions. They are not traded on stock exchange. Now let's look into the advantages of derivatives. Hedging risk exposure 
as the whole of the derivatives is interlinked with the value of the underlying asset, the contracts are primarily used for hedging risks. For example, if an investor purchases a derivative contract whose value moves in the opposite direction of the value of the asset the investor owns. In this way, the profits in the derivative contract may offset or somewhat balance losses in the underlying asset. Underlying Asset Price Determination Derivatives are frequently used to determine the price of the underlying asset. For example, the spot prices of the futures can serve as an approximation of a commodity price. Lower Transaction Cost Derivatives help to reduce market transaction costs as they act as a risk management tool. So the cost of trading in derivatives is comparatively lower than the other segments. Access to unavailable assets or markets Derivatives can help organizations to get access to otherwise unavailable assets or markets. By employing interest rate swaps, a company may obtain a more favorable interest rate relative to interest rates available from direct borrowing. Transfer of risk in derivatives, risk can be transferred from one party to another party who is willing to bear it. High Leverage Generally speaking, leverage is defined as borrowing funds to make investments. In derivatives, one of the benefits is that it provides high leverage, that is the capital needed for taking positions in derivative instruments, much less than capital needed to actually take the positions in stock market. Disadvantages of Derivatives Derivatives are associated with various disadvantages as well. Derivatives led to disastrous sequences during the 2007 and 2008 financial crisis because they led to a rapid devaluation of mortgage-backed securities and credit default swaps which in turn was one of the key factors the collapse of financial institutions and securities. High risk. Derivatives are a high risk instrument. The volatile nature of derivatives can lead to huge losses. And also, the contracts are designed in such a way that it becomes very complicated for the investors to evaluate them. So, there is a very high inherent risk associated as well. Speculative features. Derivatives are an instrument which are often used as a speculation tool in the market. Derivatives are extremely risky and also have an unpredictable behavior. Any unreasonable speculation using derivatives can thus take out a considerable portion of the capital. Counterparty Risk Derivative contracts are traded on the exchanges as well as over the counter. The contracts which are traded on the exchange go through a due diligence which means it goes through thorough fact check. However, the over-the-counter contracts does not have any benchmark for the due diligence. This leads to the risk of counterparty risk. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and do share.